The XPRIZE Foundation announced the Progressive Insurance Automotive XPRIZE in 2008. Uh, that piqued uh, Edison 2's founder, Oliver Kuttner's interest, and uh, he, re he decided to go after the prize, go after that $10 million uh, prize purse that, that the XPRIZE Foundation was putting up to design a clean, safe, affordable uh, vehicle that can get over 100 miles per gallon. He ended up putting together uh, you know, what amounts to a dream team from endurance racing. We have over 20 wins at Le Mans, Sebring, and Daytona. Um, from there, we looked at uh, really what it meant to build an efficient vehicle. Um, you know, not just moving from one power source or one energy source to another, but, but at, at the heart of it, you know, how do you build a vehicle that takes less energy uh, to move? And uh, what ended up coming out of that was the very light car. Uh, everything was designed in solid edge. Uh, it, it, it gave us the tool we needed to, to accelerate the design in a very short time period. And uh, within two years, we were able to, to do the analysis that, that I was just speaking of, uh, do the design work in solid edge, build four prototypes, compete in the X Prize on track, uh, and then going into the labs and winning the, the mainstream prize, which is the $5 million prize. The three areas that, that we focused on were uh, the, the brake rotor assembly, we also focused on the pedal assembly, and the frame geometry. As we're moving forward with, with the next generation car, it's going to have a larger wheel size, uh, and it's also going to have, it's going to be a little bit heavier. So with those two um, going hand in hand, it gives us the opportunity to increase the, the size of the rotors uh, to help with the braking capability of the vehicle. And in doing so, um, synchronous technology is a great way to make a modification like that. Um, using the old history-based method, it could take you know, days, depending on, on how difficult the assembly was being, if it were, were going to blow up. But with synchronous technology, you can literally do the change in minutes. It just saves so much time. Uh, the same with modifying the pedals. Uh, it, was, it was more for, for ergonomics, for the driver comfort. Uh, we had to bring the pedals down a little bit closer to the floor. And you know, w once again, that's not quite as complex of, a, of an assembly as the brake rotors were, but synchronous technology just made it absolutely easy to perform uh, with, with parts that weren't designed in synchronous. They weren't uh, designed to be modified in the way that synchronous technology allows us to modify the parts. The third area we focused on was, was the frame. As we move forward, we're, we're having to modify the, the frame slightly. As we go through some crash simulation, uh, we try to increase the energy absorption of the crash box with the frame. In solid edge, synchronous technology allows us to, to make the changes to the geometry just effortlessly. Um, with, with the inner part linking, being able to move one piece and having it modify all the rest of, uh, of the tubes um, you know, it's not just with tube design, it's also with parts and assemblies. With, with, you can move one part and it'll redesign the bracket and move the, uh, change the bracket so it fits. At the heart of the XPRIZE Foundation, they, they try to look at industries that, that are viewed as being stuck in, in, in their path forward. And they felt that, you know, the automotive, automotive industry uh, sort of fit into that category. There hadn't been any drastic leaps in fuel efficiency for, for a while. And they were hoping that this prize could help uh, spark a future generation of, of engineers to, to uh, design cars that can get over 100 miles per gallon. You will see bits in, in parts of our technology on the road in the years to come. You're going to see cars that look like ours. You're going to see cars that, that are, are a lot uh, lighter, have a new architecture like our vehicle, and, uh, and hopefully we can be, be in that new uh, generation of, of automotive players. We can uh, get our car out there to compete with all the rest of the manufacturers. We are moving forward. We're, we're developing our car. Uh, the next generation very light car is going to be designed just like the previous one, all in solid edge. Uh, the only difference is that um, after learning about synchronous technology and getting to play with it a little bit, we plan on using synchronous technology a lot in, in developing the next generation car. And I think it's really going to cut down on the time uh, to, to production with, with our pre-production prototype.